all representing a different nation. First two points for second, one point for third. Lap skaters will lose their points. Final rankings are established according to the number of points attained. So. It's all very tactical. Dragon is on the inside at the moment. So that's probably a prime position to take the lead. There's the Larissa Ursula Geiser in taking the last few instructions. Lefebvre from Italy there is uh, Luisa Sophie Woolaway. Right, Rocky Abebe Alt, and there is the Hungarian Dominika Gardi. Sounds as if there's a, a little Italian in the background there. Gardi. And of course, the Italians have a fantastic tradition in inline speed skating as well. Right, here we go then. This is the women's point elimination 10,000 meters final. Right at the end of this race, we will see the top three the gold, silver, and bronze positions who's going to take up the lead. They will take it in turns, of course. 49 laps, you can see, over the top. That's the first 200 complete. In fact, now they're on lap 48. And when you hear the bell, the skater at the back will be eliminated. There will be point scoring as well. Each skater well they're in line at the moment and in the slipstream leading the way right at this moment looks like it could be uh story raj 42 the 40 second lap there'll be points scored there and uh rati kastori raj has done her bit over the lead now with a lovely little rhythm leading the train is the Hungarian Gardi. It's a long way, but uh, you can see that the choo choo train up comes on the outside. You can see now a, a change. There's a little bit of movement forward and it's Chinese Taipei's Yang Yongqi that adds a little bit of momentum into the action. She says, come on, let's get a little bit going. The speed we may just see a breakaway in a while, but for the moment they're content to hang in there two laps until we get uh, the first bit of real action. Very similar styles, they're not leaning forward too much. But in great balance, good control. It is uh, 54. That is uh, Yang Yongqi leading the way. And now you can see a little bit of movement and w who's gonna be the first to be dropped off? And it's uh, panic stations at the back. There's the Colombian Mondragon coming up on the outside, overtaking uh, Yang Yongqi. And they're working hard for the first points. And now they will back off a little bit, but uh, there was definitely a bit of a spurt there. We saw some very interesting difference in speed uptake there. 
look around is Mondragon and then being overtaken. Are we going to see a big break? Yeah, well, it's certainly someone off the back there. Mondragon from Quintero Vale of uh, Venezuela. They're both together there, the Venezuelan front, Quintero Valero, Angie Annabella. Fabulous name, isn't it? On the inside again, we get the Chinese Taipei. Yang Yong Chi comes forward once again. Three points there for Mondrag Mondragon and Quintero. So this is a very, very interesting start. Argentina coming forward again now. And that's Rocio Berba Alt, 37 laps to go. The points you will find. Hey, I told you they would rest on their legs or their knees just a little bit from time to time. Tactically, they're looking around. Here comes Mondragon again. On the outside, Berba Alt. There was a warning there for Dominica Gardi. And Berber Alt has picked up a couple of points there. Quintero takes the lead at four points. Two and one point. Uh, delivered. And then another couple of points there. Delivered to Chile. And a very, very impressive performance there by the Chilean girl. That's uh, Translavina Lopez. So... It's very much a South American flavor at the minute. Look at that, Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, and Chile. But still we see Yang Yong Chi now making a big effort. Oh, and it's Colombia. Oh, she is so naughty, isn't she? The Colombian Mondragon coming up to steal a, a march there, but Yang does pick up a point. Mondragon knew that she could pick up two and go into the lead. That's exactly what happened. She's so aware. Great experience over the years, and it showed perfectly there. 32 laps. And now, some great inline movement right here. This is uh, Angie Annabella Quintero Valera again from Chile. Uh, from Venezuela, I beg your pardon. Venezuela and picking up another point and there's one dropped off the back there. Young still with that single point. Mondragon of Colombia just pushing out into the lead again. Nine laps to go. And there. We've got uh, Gabriela Vargas Sarmiento of Ecuador trying hard but uh, it looks like the american the u.s has gone from the field rene rogers has been eliminated again it's still it's south america and a little smidgen of asia there with the chinese taipei in sixth place at the moment equal fourth is uh, berber alt translavina Okay, it's all about tactics at the moment. 54 there again is Yang Yong Chi. She deserves to pick up an, another few points, doesn't she? Eliminations continuing. And you can see there with 25 laps to go, 4.8 kilometers complete. Seven, well, nearly eight minutes gone. Mondragon has continued with a fantastic performance. Mondragon of Colombia, eight points at the moment. She's so aware of when to put the pressure on. There she comes up on the outside again. She's on the left of picture as we look now. Uh, it's time for the rest of the pack to start putting in some big efforts here. They want to get back on into a position of challenge. 
once again. We've got the there she goes once again. Mon Dragon comes up on the inside. We're past halfway, a long way past halfway now, and the, the legs are beginning to really, really suffer. Hands on knees. Mon Dragon is right there once again, picking up the points. No danger of getting uh, eliminated here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, but left in the pack at the moment. Mod Dragon has picked up another couple. There you go, ten points. Quintero is back to five, leveled up with Vargas. Just one point back from that, the French girl, Lefeuve now. She's in the all blue. Has uh, put in a big, big effort and picked up. She's now been dropped out of the pace again, but uh, she's equal third, fourth place at the moment. We're going to see another big effort from the Colombian. But, uh, it looks like at the moment. It's uh, Ale Alex, uh, Alexandra de Andrea Translavina from Chile who is going to close the gap on Mondragon. Working hard, there's three of them now gone for it. Mondragon, will they be pulled back in? But it's now the time to make a break, perhaps. Three leaders at the moment. Working hard, but they're getting dragged back in, back into the peloton. Four leaders now. And Dragon is the, at the rear of those leading, the leading pack of four. Slavina gets a good position there with 16 laps remaining and putting pressure on. And Dragon still with a great lead in the points. There she coming round on the outside now. Going to try to pick up another couple. There we pick him up. Mondragon takes 12. Slavina from Chile is at six overall. I have to say Mondragon, she just is in so much control. She's pumping again, looking to make a break looking around to see who's uh, attacking. The Fervre is still on four points at the moment. Who's going to get dropped off? There's only 12 left in this competition at the moment. Vargas Samiente from Ecuador has moved up to five, equal third. Again, there she is, leading that uh, little group there, Translavina from Chile. And Berber Alt is putting in a big effort here now as well. Berber Alt of Argentina. working those arms a little bit harder than she has recently, but uh, she's picked up another couple of points, and that's a very, very good four points. Picking up the pace here now, this is a break attempt. Argentina, together with Yang Yongqi of Chinese Taipei. Can she get back up into the points? Uh, they can't uh, they can't squeeze out Mondragon. She's right there on the heels. Mondragon again is going to pick up another couple. There you go. 15 points for Mondragon. Eight to Translavina. And five to Quintero and Vargas. They are feeling the pace at the moment with nine laps remaining. Mondragon, the Colombian, is in great shape. She's been in control throughout this points elimination and uh, continues to be outsmarting the rest of the field. Here's another big drive. Coming on Dragon in the lead at 15 points. Translavina with eight. 
Who's going to now make this one happen? And now, uh, 31 has been uh, pushed out. That's Geyser from Germany. Time for a little break. Wow. Who's going to take over the responsibilities at the front, taking the wind on as well? Here's another big drive. Around the outside, but another great control from Mondragon. Watching what's going on, she's got 17 points. Translavina at eight. This is another big, big attempt. Coming up into great shape is Alejandra Translavina. And those three, Translavina, Mondragon, and Vargas look very, very well set. There's another push with five laps to go. It's getting serious now, really serious. Nine kilometers done. We've got uh, one kilometer left. Watch for the speedsters here. Once again, Mondragon has done a brilliant job. She's not actually completed the work at the moment. 18 to 8. Once again, three laps to go. And there's a lot of pumping going on right here. That looks... Actually, Geyser is still there. Geyser for Germany is still there. I thought she'd been dropped off, but she's now come into contention. Four points on the... She's in sixth place overall. Leading the pack round at the moment. And who's going to overtake and take it up? It's Mondragon again, of course. And there... Another big, big drive to come through with just one lap remaining. Mondragon. And there, it's uh, Marine-Claire René Lefebvre who is coming up to actually take the bell. One lap to go. And one lap to go. But the points scoring with Mondragon out at 19 is absolutely in top position. But here's the French girl coming once, a French woman, should I say. There she crosses the line. And the finish in 16 minutes, 12.80 seconds. But Mondragon, absolutely superb. Points finished there. Lefebvre left it very late to get up into second place overall for France. But wow, what a finish that was. The last three laps she put together. And the Colombians will be celebrating again another magnificent uh, victory. Uh, the women's Colombian team absolutely in ecstasy. So there, the winner of this points elimination competition, Joanna Viveros Mondragon. She has got such a great pedigree. They all knew she was the danger. And, uh, well, we know after winning gold at the 2017 World Games, that was in the 20-kilometer picture of me. Here we go. She just threw up the whole race, looking about, checking it out. And another good performance by Chile's uh, Translavina as well. Again, great rhythm during that whole race. There's the French girl crossing the line in front. It doesn't matter, it's the points were counting and uh, well very impressive number 15 Johanna Viveros Mondragon of Colombia 28 years old gold medalist and a bronze medalist from the last world games in Poland now is a gold medalist here, Birmingham.